video shortly. Okay? So, for the time being, I'm going to mute everybody's microphone. Uh, but if you want to talk later, um, you're welcome to. That's fine. It's it's muted. Um, so, um, so, of course, no problem. It's a pleasure to be with you all. Um, we're, we're currently at 113 members. That is That's wonderful. Um, I'm going to mute everybody again. So again, if you have something to say, um, you can you can talk. You can raise your hand if you want, and I'll gladly call on you to talk. Uh, but for a lot of this, at least for this first part, um, it'll be me speaking. There will be a chance for you to speak later. I'm going to put you in what's called breakout rooms, uh, which I think will be really good, especially in a group this size. Um, what that does is it lets us talk to smaller groups of people. So for a lot of our students, even for me, it can be very scary to talk to 113 people. You're afraid you're going to make some mistake or that someone will judge what you say uh, or whatever. And so breakout rooms can be a really good thing, okay? I'm also uh, recording this session, and there's two reasons I want to record this, maybe three. Um, well, so one reason is uh, Roshan with Education USA and myself, we want to pass this on to our supervisors. This is something that other countries are looking at doing too. Um, so we're actually kind of leaders and you guys are very brave uh, for being part of this with us. Um, and so thank you for that. That's one reason we're recording. Another reason we're recording is even with 115 people here, there are lots of people who wanted to be here who probably can't come today, okay? Or there might be people who can come today, but their internet is very bad. And so they'll have to drop at some point and it won't work for them um, all the way through. And so um, it's very important that we uh, allow uh, everybody to watch this later. Um, that's, that's like a big thing, okay? Um, and then the third thing is uh, maybe you're watching this and you think, uh, you know, I like this, but I feel like there's uh, something I don't understand. I need to look at this again. Uh, so, um, please let's go ahead and, 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 and watch this a second time. Well, that's another reason to record. Okay. So I'm watching the, uh, the comments here, um, uh, looking for questions and things like that. Um, uh, yeah. So, uh, yes. Um, okay. Um, no, it's okay. Um, so you're right. Um, I, I don't have perfect Russian, but that I look like an Irish elf. Uh, maybe you mean a leprechaun? I've been hearing that my whole life, um, and that's fine. Uh, to tell you the truth, my, did I translate that right? My, my Russian is not great. Um, I have, my beard is getting longer all the time. Um, and so that's actually something good to talk about, um, a little bit about myself, because we're going to talk about you today. Um, no, no, don't be, don't be sorry, Karina. Um, I'm glad that my Russian is getting better. <laughs> and it's, it's, it's fine. It's, it's very true. Um, I am the nicest leprechaun you've ever met. Um, and so um, a couple questions. Diaz asked me where I am right now. Um, so I'm the English language coordinator here with the RILA office in Kazakhstan. And what that means is I do English language programming for uh, students and teachers all over uh, the country. Okay, and all over Central Asia. So if you're here from Kyrgyzstan, I'm happy to have you here too. Um, and so I've been here now for four years. Okay, uh, three of those years were in Nur Sultan or Astana, and one of those years was in Karaganda. Um, and so I'm currently in Nur Sultan. Um, I've been here throughout the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, I talk with my friends in America, of course, but I am experiencing this the same as you. Um, so now there are 118 of us here, but we're being very socially distant. We're going to learn a little bit about me, a little more about me, but also more about you. And I'm going to do that by sharing my screen with you. Um, before we do this, though, I need to give you a website that I've made. Now, this website, um, I'm going to be adding to this website as we go. But this is a web page that I've built for you. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen so that you can see what it looks like right now. Um, just for a second, we can look at it, okay? So here we go, this is the website. Um, this top link right here, this is actually a link to the PowerPoint that we're going to be looking at today. So if you wanna look at our PowerPoint presentation later, let me check the chat. 
Um, ah, good, I'm a cute elf. I hope so. I, I try my best. Um, I, you know, whatever. I showered today. That's at least a good step, right? Um, but this is our PowerPoint for today. Um, and I've got other websites and materials that I'll be sharing with you as we go. Um, but anything you might think is involved with essay writing is uh, available on here, okay, and more. So this is a really big website. Um, I don't expect you to look at all of it right now. Um, in fact, I don't even want you to look at it right now. Uh, but I just offer to you that you can use this later, okay? All right. So, okay, up to 121 people. Wonderful. With that being said, so we've got the website. I've sent you the link. Um, I'm going to go ahead and share a PowerPoint presentation with you, okay? So we are going to be using this PowerPoint um, for most of today. We'll have a different PowerPoint tomorrow, okay? So the first thing we need to talk about is why we're all here, okay? So we're going to work on admissions essays. You might not know it as an admissions essay. You might say, I have no idea what that is. Maybe you've heard of a motivation letter, okay? Maybe you've heard of a statement of purpose, okay? Um, there's a lot of different names for this kind of essay. Aldiar, did you have something to say? I saw that you raised your hand. No? Okay. Um, so for everyone later, I'm going to make sure that you have this information, but that's my email address. Okay. Um, you're welcome to, uh, add. Yes, absolutely. A personal statement, uh, a statement of purpose, um, a letter of motivation, motivation letter, lots of names for it. This is my email address. And so I'll give you instructions about this later. They're also on the website, but you can email me with any writing questions you have. I just want you to write Ed USA Writing um, on the subject line, okay? So admissions essay writing. There's a lot that we need to do to get into this. This is a six-day workshop, okay? Today is just the introduction. And so for the introduction, we need to work on brainstorm. Um, and if you don't know that word, don't worry. We're going to cover it in just a moment but we're gonna worry about brainstorming essential objects and values. Now, none of that might make sense to you, or even if it does, there's probably more that we're going to learn. So today, we're going to learn about each other, and you're going to learn something probably about yourself, okay? We're gonna do that through something called brainstorming. All of this material comes from a book called College Essay Essentials, um, well, not all of it, but I have taken a lot of material, I will say, a lot of inspiration from this book, College Essay Essentials. This is a book that Roshan um, from Education USA gave me uh, several months ago, and um, I have loved it ever since. It's a brilliant book. Um, this man, Ethan Sawyer, is a brilliant man. We're actually going to go to his website later today, uh, but he's got a lot of great sample essays in there, things that we could actually learn from. Okay. All right. So I'm always going to check the chat to make sure we're good. Um, I would recommend this book uh, for anybody, yes, who wants it. In fact, um, let me go ahead. Here, we'll get out of this. Um, and I'll put this, this is the uh, biographical, sorry, bibliographical information, the information about the book. Uh, for anyone who wants it, that's the book information right there. Okay. Um, but Yes, um, you can talk to Roshan about it. She might have some way of getting the book uh, to you as well, okay? College essay essentials. All right, so the first thing we're gonna work on today is brainstorming. What is brainstorming, okay? Then we're gonna work on understanding what our essence objects are. Now, if you don't know that phrase, that's a phrase that I'm pretty sure was coined or invented by Ethan Sawyer. So it's possible that we don't know the, that phrase. Don't worry about that. Then we're going to take some time to talk about our values. What are your values? And finally, we'll choose a prompt, okay? Depending on what our time looks like and how everything is going with everybody, we might take a short break. Um, I haven't uh, discussed that yet. Okay, you see a comment here from Roshan. Uh, she says, I've shared a link where you can access some of the resources. You have the link, and the book is there. 
We might take a break. We might not. I leave that up to uh, our group, okay? But it won't be for a while, certainly. So the first thing we need to talk about is brainstorming. Now, when, when we hear this word, we probably think of something like this picture. We've got a brain and there's a storm going on, rain and thunder and lightning, um, something like that. Well, that sounds like quite a headache, right? Um, that's not really what we mean by brainstorm, okay? So to write a strong admissions essay or a strong essay for applying to university, whether it's in Kazakhstan, or East Asia, or in Europe, or somewhere in the United States, um, it's important every time to get our thoughts out first, okay? Um, and so by doing this, we can see what the best ideas would be for writing our essay. I think it's really important to remember that good essays tell good stories. So the best writing that you're going to see is always going to tell some kind of story. And a lot of times people feel like they need to save the world in their essay. They have to tell this amazing, huge story to actually accomplish their goal. Um, but actually that's not true. Sometimes small details make the best, uh, the best uh, uh, stories, okay? Um, Norba has a good question. Um, Norba says, is this for everyone or only for Astana? Uh, the material that I'm sharing now is for anyone who's writing an essay uh, for college admission. So wherever you are, if that's something you're trying to do, um, then I think this material is for you, okay? Good. Um, and so, okay, brainstorm. What is brainstorm? Well, this is producing as many ideas as we can, and we're not worried about what's right or wrong. You don't have to write in beautiful, flowery language. You don't have to use um, amazing academic language, okay? We don't need words with seven syllables in them. Um, so that's that's not something that we're really focused on here, okay? Um, good. Oh, thank you, Roshan. Good. Um, and so um, we're not worried about what's right or what's wrong. We're just trying to get ideas out there, okay? Great. Great. Um, the ideas are going to come to us and we're writing them just like rain that falls during a storm, okay? Um, it's, we don't predict where the water drops are going to fall in a storm. Um, we're not predicting where the, the ideas fall here either. We're trying to get as many ideas as possible. So for today's class, um, you're going to need either some space on your phone where you can do some writing, some space on your computer where you can do some writing, or just a piece of paper and something to write with, okay? We are going to do a little bit of writing today. Actually, we're gonna do kind of a lot of writing today. So you need something to write with, okay? All right, and so here's the first activity. I'll give you a short introduction to this activity, and then we're gonna try this with each other, okay? So I want you to imagine that you have a box. It could be any box, any size, any shape, any color, doesn't matter. This is kind of a magical box, okay? Why is it magical? Inside this box are all of the ideas and objects, um, all the ideas and objects that make you who you are. So over the next few slides, we're going to determine what should go in your box. Before we go on, I see that there are some questions uh, on the chat. I'm not sure how to answer them. Um, resources from Roshan or Donna Teacher, I don't know exactly. Uh, the website I sent you is, is materials that I'm going to be using, here, okay? Um, Islam just sent that email or that message as well. Um, okay, good. Thank you, Mazia. Great. So again, you've got a box here, and in this box are the things that make you who you are. These could be big things, they could be small things, and um, they can represent, they should represent probably more than one thing in your life. So I'm gonna give you a few examples. What is in my box? This is a box that shows who I am, remember? Well, the first thing that's in my box is an inhaler, okay? Um, now, that might seem strange, um, I have asthma. I don't know the name for this poruski, but this is something where it is difficult to breathe sometimes. 
okay? My whole life, I have had this disease. It becomes difficult to breathe, um, especially under certain conditions. But uh, without this medicine, I cannot really do anything in certain conditions, okay? Oh, it's also called asthma, okay. Great, thank you, DS. And so when I was a small child, I was often told what I could not do. Okay, I can't play this sport. I can't go to this place. I can't go to this party because, because, because um, I could get sick, right? Um, and so I spent my childhood believing that there was lots of things that I could not do, right? And now I'm 35. I'm a 35-year-old leprechaun living and teaching in Kazakhstan halfway across the world from where I was before, right? Doing things that my parents probably never thought that I could do when I was a child. And so what does the inhaler mean to me? Why is the inhaler in my box, right? Why is it in my box? There's two reasons, okay? One of them is this is a reminder uh, that I have things that can help me through my life and that if I carry those things with me, I'm always going to be okay. But it's also a reminder that no obstacle and no challenge that comes in front of me can stop me from doing what I wanna do, okay? I came halfway across the world. Um, and, so, and so that's what this is to me. It's actually a sign of victory for me. It's not a sign of weakness, it's a sign of victory. That's why I have the inhaler, okay? I'm gonna check the chat for a second. Yeah, exactly. Okay, moving on. So that's my first object. Here's my second object. Okay, what is that? Well, it's a speaker, right? Now there's a couple reasons that, that I would put this speaker in my objects that are essential, okay? What's one of them? One is, I love music. I've always loved music. Um, when I was a young guy, I played a lot of musical instruments. I played bass guitar, trombone. I played violin. Uh, I played didgeridoo uh, for a couple of years. Um, um, it's not the new Xbox. No, and it's not the PlayStation 5 either, although I've seen those memes. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, what, my favorite instrument? Um, I, I don't know. Uh, probably, you know, honestly, in a lot of music I listen to, it's maybe the flute. Uh, it just, I'm never really ready for a flute to come in. And it always kind of catches me off guard. And I love that. Um, but, but back to this, why is, why is the Bose speaker here? Um, one is that I love music, okay? Um, and I love music to be loud. I like, I like to feel the music, right? Um, but I also like high quality music. So Bose is about the top quality speaker a person can get. I'm not a guy with a lot of money, but I made sure that my wife and I had the, the best quality speaker that we could because I care about this. This is something that really matters to me. It's also here, so that's one thing. I love music. I love things that are high quality, okay? Um, but I also, I'm trying to be sensible. Um, this is not a huge speaker. It doesn't take up a huge amount of space. And so I look for things that are attractive and things that can fit. This is for speakers as much as it is for any other piece of technology um, or, or anything that I have, okay? Great, great. Okay, cool. So that's why I would probably put uh, the speaker in my essentials box, okay? The next one uh, is probably fairly obvious. Um, I would put my passport in there. Um, so my passport is actually essential in Kazakhstan. If I didn't have it, I would be in a lot of trouble with your police and security system. Um, but it's essential in many ways more than that um, in my life. Um, so I have traveled and taught all over the world. Um, I absolutely love travel. And so I guess this is another sign of uh, my love of travel. That's one reason that I would put this in my box. But also, um, it's so nice to me to be able to see all these different countries from all over the world put so closely next to each other in the book, 
right? So I might have India on one page and Kazakhstan on the next. And this just reminds me that uh, we're actually a lot closer than we think we are to each other, right? Um, we can say that I'm this way and you're that way, but guess what? We're all in the same book, right? So that's, that's a reason that I would put my passport in my box of essentials, okay? And I have one other essential item. This is a bicycle, okay? So why would I put a bicycle in my box of essentials? Um, well, uh, there's a couple reasons that I would put a bicycle in. Uh, believe it or not, again, I'm 35 years old. I've never owned a car. My wife has a car, but I've never had a car. Um, my whole life, I've gotten around with either walking or taking a bus or using a bicycle. And my favorite of those is a bicycle. Um, you can pick up so much speed and feel like the wind is hitting you. And it's just a way to travel. And it's like traveling on your own ability. Like you're tired when it's over and that's satisfying, right? So this is one reason I love bicycle. Uh, but the other reason I put the bicycle in my box of essentials is that I have a five-year-old son. I haven't mentioned that to you yet. Uh, but one of our big bonding experiences is that we like to go riding bikes together. Um, he's much better than me, actually. He can do all sorts of crazy tricks on his bike. Uh, he can even like stand on the seat when it's going and, and stuff like that. But um, but this is kind of, it represents to me my relationship with my son too. Uh, so that's why I put the bike in there, okay? Um, so I would probably put more things in my box of essentials, uh, but this is the one that I, I put for now. So again, just to review, right? I've got my inhaler, I've got my speaker, I've got my passport, and I've got my bicycle, okay? Now, it's your turn. I'd like you to take a piece of paper um, or maybe your phone or a laptop, and I want you to think about four or five objects that really capture some part of who you are. You don't need to write complete sentences, and you don't need to share these with us in the chat, okay? But I want you to think about what are those objects and what do they represent or what do they mean to you? Now, I'm going to stop here for a second because um, I want to give you guys some time to do this, okay? I'm going to give you guys about uh, six or seven minutes at least to do this, okay? Um, I'm going to stop sharing for a second. I'm going to share my screen. Mm, hold on just a second. Can I share? Share computer. Yeah, there we go. Good. Share computer sound. Um, okay, I'm going to play some music as well while we do this, okay? All right, and I'm gonna put these back up for us to look at. So you've got about six or seven minutes just for yourself.
All right. So um, if we need more time, I understand that. I'm going to go ahead and share that screen for just a second. But hopefully we have at least two or three objects. Um, if you got to four or five, that's great. Uh, but whatever you have, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to put us in what are called breakout rooms. Breakout rooms are smaller rooms where you can talk with just a few students. And I want you to share with other students. You can use your microphone and or type whatever, but I want you to share what objects make you who you are. There's no right answer here, okay? We're just trying to get some ideas and maybe somebody has something that is similar to yours. And if they do, you can write that on your list too, okay? Let me check the chat. Um, any language is okay. Um, I guess I would prefer English, but if you're in, in a room where people are more comfortable talking in Russian um, or, or that's the only language that everyone is understanding, that's okay, yeah, okay? So let me go ahead, I'm gonna put us in rooms now. All right, this is gonna take me a second. There we go. All right, here we go. I'm gonna put us in. You should be in a room with four people, okay? So you'll get an invitation to join this room and then you should just click on accept and you'll be able to get into the room, okay? Hi, I got asked to come into room 13 for health. That's you guys. So um, you can message to each other. If you prefer, you can uh, unmute yourself and you can actually talk to each other. Um, don't be shy. Uh, there's, there's no right answers here. If you want to talk, that's okay too. Yeah? No problem. Мне очень нравится. Oh, hello, Ben. Hi. Hi. I'm um, just I'm just going in different rooms to check. Don't worry firstly, about. Firstly, I started streaming. Oh. Okay, okay. Um, then I've selected three or four significant ones, where, which are really essential for me. 
then I discard. <laughs> great, great. I, I have to go back to the main room for a second. Sorry, guys. We'll we'll stop in just a few minutes. Excellent work. Hi, everybody. Sorry. Um, so it's possible. Let's see. I lost a lot of people somehow. Uh, we're down to, oh, yeah, more people are coming. That's fine. Uh, we'll wait a second. We'll wait a second. More people coming. Oh, oh, Mozilla, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, I'll give more time next time. Uh, some groups were saying that they were done. So I wasn't sure uh, what to do if we needed more time. I will try to make sure that we have more time next time. Um, so if you would like to, uh, we seem to have, somehow we lost like 20 people in that process. I don't know what happened. Maybe more people are joining us still. Um, if you'd like to, you can add in the chat box now, what are some of the uh, objects that are important to you? The objects that are essential. Ah, yeah. Weak internet connection might be part of it, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So, uh, Malzia, if I can ask you, what's what's one object that's important to you and why? You can write it, you can say it, either one of those is fine. Yeah. Okay, the globe shows your interest in geography and care about the planet. Cool. Camera is important uh, because it's a good opportunity to capture a moment and save it for the future. Cool. Cool. Yeah, great. Telescope, passion for space. Uh, your first laptop. Mazio, why your first laptop? What's important about that? All right, inhaler, asthma gang. Cool. Team asthma. Good. I'm glad you're doing okay. Me too. Okay, music, great, great. Headphones, dancing on the stage, library, cool. Okay, your identification card, right. Great, oh, being on time, right. So it's interesting what we choose. If you have like a limited space for things, you can only think of a few things. It's interesting what we choose first, right? A lot of people said yoga mats. I saw that from a few people. Yeah, great. Okay, cool. So this is just one thing that we can do um, to get some ideas out there. Now, get back to your paper. I'm loving all these ideas, guys. Um, yeah, great, great. Let's get back to your paper. I'm going to put us in more groups, and we're going to do more discussion about different topics. So. Over the next few slides, I'm going to ask some questions. We're going to learn more about each other, more about ourselves. These questions all come from that book that Roshan has sent to you. Um, they're also available on the website.
for Ethan Sawyer, which is collegeessayguy.com. Again, I'm going to get you a link to that later, okay? Let's see what we got here. Chess, cool. Me too. Love chess. Great. Okay. Here's some questions. Now, I'd, I'd like you, again, take out something to write with, something to write on, okay? First question, no right answer here. Just whatever your thoughts are. What is an object that reminds you of your home? What is an object that reminds you of your home? Can I, I'm gonna, I, I, I see this question here. I'm gonna stop the screen for a second because I wanna show you an object that reminds me of my home. This thing, wow, look at that. Isn't that awesome? What is that? It's like a giant octopus, right? I like to, often I sit with it on my head. Yeah, it's a huge octopus. Okay, so why does this object remind me of my home? Um, for a few reasons, for a few reasons. Uh, first off, it's my son's. Um, so he's five. I do anything I can to try to make him happy. Um, I bought it for his birthday. It came in the mail late. Um, it wasn't there on time. Um, but it's okay. By the time it got to our house, he didn't really care about octopus anymore. Um, he's more into butterflies now. So um, we got this octopus. He didn't like the octopus very much, but I love it, right? Um, and so what do I like about this thing? I like that it's cute, I guess. Um, I like that it reminds me of my son, but I also like that it's really comfortable. I actually usually sleep with this uh, myself, right? So you can share and answer these questions with each other in a moment, but I want you to take a minute. And again, I'm gonna share the screen. Here, hold on, I'm looking at the questions. Uh, my son speaks English and Russian, yep. Um, so a question here that I think is good, um, can you share by using your camera? Yeah, you can, uh, but not right this minute. We're gonna get into breakout rooms in a second. You can do it that way, okay? Um, yeah, you can share now if you want, that's fine. Oh, cool. All right, I see what's going on. We got like a, that's a pretty cool like stuffed animal too, yeah? Great, yeah, look at that, that's cool. Everybody sees that, yeah? Okay, great. Um, all right, so, <laughs> good. Um, more questions, right? That's just one, okay? I'm gonna get back to these. Let's think about the first four. An object that reminds you of your home. So I want you to write about that or talk about it at least. An object that reminds you of your mother, okay? Again, I can give you an example. Um, there's, my mother has this uh, machine that makes hot chocolate. And this is a machine that always reminds me of my mother uh, because I don't actually even like hot chocolate that much. But anytime I'm back in America, she's constantly offering me hot chocolate. And I always say yes, because I like that she likes to make hot chocolate for me. I want her to feel happy. So even if I don't want to, I drink lots of hot chocolate when I'm at home. Um, this is an object that reminds me of her, okay? Um, I'm gonna give you a few more questions, okay? An object that reminds you of home, an object that reminds you of your mom. Now, this is one, this could also be for your mom. An object that reminds you of your father, your dad, or if your dad isn't around too much, what is an object that reminds you that he's not there? That's a difficult one. Some of these might be uncomfortable. And if you don't want to share an answer with somebody, you don't have to. But I do want you for yourself to think about these answers. Okay? Okay. One more question, and then I'm going to put us back in groups to talk about these. What or who makes you laugh? Okay. Um, if you don't have an object that reminds you of your home, you might not have an answer for all of these. That's okay. Just answer what you can. All right. Now, let me get out of this for a second. I'm going to share these questions with you in the chat. Okay. Just a second. All right, there's, oh, nope, I didn't mean to do that. I sent those just to Diaz somehow. Hold on, there we go. There we go, that's everybody. Um, so, 
those are the questions. I want you, I'm gonna give you guys a couple minutes to answer those questions. Again, I'm gonna play some music. I'll just do about two minutes, three minutes to answer those questions and then I'll put us in breakout rooms, okay? We'll come back to the music in a little bit. By the way, this music is all by a wonderful musician, uh, named Kamasi Washington, one of my favorite jazz musicians. I listen to a lot of different kinds of music, but that's the name of this guy. Um, I'll put that in there. I'm gonna put us in breakout rooms to answer those four questions that I asked you. Now, again, if you're, if you're wondering about those, let me put those again here, okay? There we go. All right, and I'm gonna put us in breakout rooms to share answers with each other. If you don't feel comfortable sharing one of these answers, maybe something is uncomfortable, you don't have to. Again, they could be in any different language. And again, um, you, can use your, uh, you can use your camera if you want to, okay? I'll give a few minutes for it. Hi, Timberland asked for help, so that's fine. I'm here. You guys can share with each other in any language, Angliski, Poruski, anything's okay.
All right. I think we're all, yeah, it looks like we're just about all back. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Um, so more questions to consider. Okay, I'm going to put you in another room in a little bit here. Some more questions. So this one has a lot of different parts. I want to know an object that represents a smell you love. An object that represents a smell you hate an object that represents a taste you love, an object that represents a taste you hate, and the sweetest sound in the world. Wow, all right, give me a second here, I'm checking my chat. I gotta check my chat. Oh, oh, see, a lot of people are just sharing, sorry. I was just trying to check the chat, guys. Sorry about that. Okay, back. Here, let me do this again. My mistake, guys. There we go. Okay, so a smell you love. A smell you hate. So what's a smell that I love? I love the smell of the air after rain. I don't know what to call that, but do you know what I'm talking about? The air is like beautifully thick after rain. I also love the smell of lilacs, okay? Uh, These flowers, they remind me of my grandmother. Uh, she really likes flowers, okay? A smell that I hate? The smell of arrakis uh, or, or peanut butter and peanuts. And the reason is um, I have a very serious allergy. I guess maybe it's more a smell that I fear. Um, but yeah, I don't like that smell. I don't like the smell of fish that's been out for two days uh, either, too long. It's a really bad smell to me. <clears throat> okay. A taste we love. What's a taste that I love? Let me think. Actually, I love Iran. Um, I love Iran. I've never had anything like it before I came to Kazakhstan. This kind of uh, sour, almost bitter taste, especially the really salty kind of Iran. It's amazing, right? A taste that I hate. Um, I don't even know if it's a, a taste so much as a touch or texture, uh, but meat that's really chewy makes me feel kind of sick. I don't like chewy meat. I like uh, easy to chew through meat. And the sweetest sound in the world, the sweetest sound in the world. Hmm. Possibly my son, when he's like, he doesn't snore loudly, but like a very light, kind of like quiet snore. Um, it's nice because it's very sweet and he's very small, but it's also nice because it reminds me he's asleep so I can relax. <laughs> so those are maybe some of the objects that represent a smell I love, a smell I hate, a taste I love, a taste I hate, and the sweetest sound in the world. I want you to think about those. Okay, I'm gonna put on the music again. I'm gonna give you a little bit of time and we're gonna get in groups and share these again, okay? Wow, the tears of your enemies, that's pretty dark, yeah, okay. I thought about, someone said petrol, I thought about that, right? All right. A little bit of music for this again. Just two minutes, yeah? Thank you. 
Okay, let's get into some groups. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do this again, and I want you to answer these questions with someone next to you, someone around you. Okay, do this again. There we go. And go ahead. No right answers. Remember. Okay, coffee. Coffee's a smell you love, right? Does anybody else love the smell of coffee? I love the smell of coffee. I don't drink coffee very much, but I agree with Rylan there. Hmm. So you can unmute yourself if you want to talk. Ah, okay, taste of grass after rain, cool. Oh, the smell of the class after PE, woo, right? Smell of new books. Maybe some people like the smell of old books even, right? Um, great, great. Good details, guys. Good work. All right, um, so it looks like most of us are back. Um, I'm going to, I apologize for anybody if you're in the middle of talking and then we get out and we have to come back here. I am sorry about that. I, I don't mean to do that to you. Uh, sometimes it's, it's just kind of a weird thing where I've got 40 rooms and I, it's hard to know uh, when to, to end things. 
Um, I will turn on the music. Don't worry. It's coming back. Okay. So more questions. We got two more rounds of this. Okay. First question, something that reminds you of being a kid. Something that reminds you of being a kid. So for me, something that reminds me of being a kid is Pokemon. I had a uh, I had the red Pokemon Game Boy game. And my brother had the blue one. And we used to play against each other all the time. That was kind of our bonding uh, with each other. But for you, it might be something different, right? A lot of people are saying I'm still a kid. Fair, fair answer. I guess think back to when you were like a little kid, if, if you want. That's fine. Okay. All right. Next. An object that represents your best friend. And, or either one, you could do both of these or one of them. An object that represents your grandparents. Now, not everybody has grandparents, of course, but um, if you do, maybe there's an object that represents your Atashka, Apashka, right? Okay. The next question, an object that represents something you love about yourself that others often don't seem to recognize. Um, so for myself, I will say this. Um, a lot of people, I've had friends in my life make fun of me for my dancing, but I actually think I'm a great dancer. I, I really enjoy dancing. Um, I will admit that I have no professional training and that I probably look ridiculous. Uh, but when I dance, it, it fills the room with joy, or at least I feel like it does. Um, and so this is something I love about myself. I don't know if others love it as much as me okay the best money you've ever spent now that's kind of a weird american phrase so let me explain that this means you've spent money before but this was the best money that you ever spent it was like the best purchase you ever made okay um for myself i'm trying to think the best money i've ever spent something that I probably still have. I can't tell you exactly, but recently, last year I went on vacation with my wife in Italy and we spent, uh, I spent more money than I wanted to on some sandals for my feet, um, but they are the most comfortable shoes I've ever had in my life. And so I think that's probably the best money I've ever spent, um, or at least some of the best I've spent in a long time. Uh, because I don't think I'll ever get tired of wearing those. Someone said their dog. That's cool. Traveling. Cool. Cool. iPad. Good. Okay. Next one. What is your favorite word in English? No bad words. Be careful here, guys. Like, let's keep it. Let's keep it. Uh, 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 what do I want to say? Responsible. Okay. We're not looking for bad words. Um, but then uh, maybe your favorite word in another language, too. Okay, um, good. All right, and so these are our next questions. And I'm gonna go ahead because we're, we're sort of, we, we, we need to move a little bit longer on time. I'm gonna give you some more questions to think about too, okay? If you made a music album, what picture would be on the cover? So if you were making, you guys might not even, you're, you're young, I don't know if, how albums work these days. You're all on Spotify or, or whatever, right? But uh, albums, this, this used to be where the kids would be uh, uh, would able to see their, their uh, uh, you know, the, the cover, okay, of an album. Yeah, let's keep, no bad words, right, guys? Okay, so what picture would be on the cover of your music album, okay? Next one, what does your perfect Saturday night look like? So you have a Saturday night free, no school the next day. What's it look like? Okay. Next question. If you had a clone, that means someone who looks, talks, thinks exactly like you. What would you make that clone do? Okay. And a time that you laughed so hard that you cried. Also, 
a time you cried so hard that you laughed, okay? And finally, the biggest decision you've ever made. Now, I know you guys are young, but we can think about these. I'm gonna give you, we've got more, more questions here, so I'm gonna give you a little bit more time, okay? So let me, I'm gonna pull out of this for a second so I can give you these questions in chat, okay? And then I'm going to put music back on because I know that's something that we're asking for. Okay. And I'll put these back on the screen. Thank you. 
Yeah. Yeah, I agree. That's like, that's kind of a darker, more tense music. This is the, uh, this is the part of the album where uh, in the documentary, Barack Obama and, and Michelle are being attacked with racist uh, accusations. So it, it kind of fits that the minor key. Right. Okay, so that gets us up to uh, the questions, though. Okay, so again, I'm going to put these questions. Um, we've already got them, but I'm going to put them again in the chat right here. So you've got them. There it is. And I'm going to put us back in breakout rooms. You don't have to answer all of these. Just share the ones you're comfortable with. But for yourself, if you're trying to brainstorm later, I would recommend answering all of these for yourself. Okay, here we go.
All right, we'll start in just a second. We've got more people coming back here. We've got just about 12 minutes left. So we're coming up on the end of this session. I wanna connect all the work you've been doing with what we're going to do next. Okay, and I do have a homework assignment for you also. Pavlodar, cool, okay. All right, good, good, good. Hi, everybody, okay, so. Um, a few more questions to think about, um, and we won't share everything. Um, oh, I see where everybody's coming from. Cool, cool. Lots of different locations. Nice. We're from all over, huh? Great, great. Wow. Everywhere. Um, so, some more questions to think about, okay? Um, and again, I want you to try to write about this, okay? What is the hardest thing you've ever had to overcome? What is the hardest thing you've ever had to overcome? The, the biggest problem you've ever had, the biggest challenge you've ever had. Okay, we've kind of talked about a challenge already, but this might be a question for you, okay? Next question. What is your actual superpower? Now, I don't mean you shouldn't say, well, Ben, I can actually fly or I could shoot lasers out of my eyes. No, you can't. Um, that's not a superpower. What is your actual superpower? So one superpower that I have, um, just most of the time, I can find a way to smile. I can find a way to be positive, okay? Um, so I think I learned that I had that uh, when I was about 25 years old, uh, but I have tried to use it everywhere I go since and i don't um i don't speak uh, russian so well i don't know kazakh very well at all um or kyrgyz or any language but uh, my smiling helps me get through a lot of life here in central asia okay um so that's just my answer there but my superpower okay i wouldn't be who i am today without what now, there's a lot of different answers there. I, I could answer that in a lot of ways. I could say I wouldn't be who I am today without my teachers, right? I wouldn't be who I am today without music. Um, I wouldn't be who I am today without travel, without love of volunteering, okay? Again, lots of answers. Without everything, maybe yes. Um, but the more specific we can get, the better, right? Okay. Next. If you have a specific career or major in mind, so we, you know, when you go to college, what is it that you want to study? Maybe you say, I have no idea. That's okay. That's okay. But if you have an idea, like you want to be an engineer, you want to be in IT, um, you want to be in tourism and hospitality, um, or you want to be a teacher, whatever, or a doctor, why? What is it? Why do you want to be that thing? Okay. Um, Okay, okay, okay. And last question, do any of these answers connect to any of your essence objects? Now, we're gonna talk about these questions tomorrow as part of our warm up activity. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this here 
And I'll make sure these get out to you as well. You'll have the PowerPoint so you can look at this. These questions, try to answer these for tomorrow, okay? Again, you don't have to share anything you don't want to with students, okay? But um, I would like you, at least for yourself, to share these, okay? I'm checking the chat. I see lots of interesting comments coming up. Okay, two more things for homework, okay? And with this class, I'm not grading you. This is like whatever you put in is what you get out. It's your choice, right? So I'm not forcing you to do anything. I'm going to share these with you. Oh, no, that's not right. Sorry. Let me see if I can do this. Yeah, you can send answers on Gmail. That's fine. Yep. Okay, I'm trying to, let me see if I can do this. I don't know how to do this. I'll find a way to send this to you. This is a list of values. What are values? Values are things that are important for you, okay? Things that are important to you. And these are all good things, okay? You might not know all these words, but um, adventure, right? Health and fitness, that's important. Um, friendship, maybe, um, or bravery. These are all important things, right? And here, I've got more. Leadership, experience, religion, travel. So there's a bunch of different ones. You don't need to write anything here. All you need to do is make a list. I'm going to give you all these values. And by tomorrow, I want you to choose your top 10. Which ones of these are the 10 most important? Okay? Yeah, I'll repeat the homework. Yeah, Roshan has this list as well. That's right. Um, I'll repeat the homework. So again, first, we're going to answer these questions, okay? I'll make sure that you guys have these three slides because this is the homework, okay? Then here, these are values, things that we think are important. And I want you to choose your top 10, your top five, your top three, and the number one most important value. We'll talk about this a little bit tomorrow, okay? But I'm going to tell you why we're talking about this too, okay? All right. And why are we doing this? So we did a lot of stuff today. It was fun. We listened to a lot of jazz music, but why? Zashem, right? Well, here's why. Your essence objects, those objects we put in boxes, they show other people and they might show you um, some of the things that absolutely make you who you are. They make you, uh, they are the most important things in your life. They symbolize who you are as a person, right? Your values, these things, this stuff, actually shows you what your dreams and future goals are, okay? So this is going to show you what's important to you. And once we know what is important to you and what your future goals and dreams are connected to this work here, it's easier to know what prompt we're going to use to write your essay, okay? So, we'll talk a little bit more about this tomorrow. We didn't quite get to the prompts yet. There are seven prompts, okay? You only choose one of them, but this is them, okay? Number one, you would only choose one of these to write an essay about. And the essay should be somewhere about 550 to 650 words, okay? That's about one and a half pages, okay? Um, I don't expect to do that with you right now. That's not what we're doing. I'm just introducing the topics, okay? Number one, some students have a background, identity, interest, or talent so meaningful, they believe their application would be incomplete without it. So there's something so important, this is like the essence objects, something so important that you would not be who you are without it, okay? Number two is about those challenges. So the lessons we take from obstacles we encounter can be fundamental to later success. Recount a time when you faced a challenge, setback, or failure. Think about a time that you had a challenge or a failure. How did it affect you, and what did you learn from that experience? Number three, 
Think about a time that you questioned or challenged a belief or idea. You don't have to answer these questions tonight. These are the prompts that we would use to write our essays, okay? Yeah, good. Yeah, exactly, guys. The, the link is gonna be in the website, okay? Um, so I'll make sure I'll make sure it's all there, okay? Number four, a problem you've solved or a problem you would like to solve, okay? Um, this could be an intellectual thing, a research question, an ethical problem, um, something about what's right and what's wrong, something that is important to you, okay? It doesn't matter if it's big or small. And then we want to talk about the significance to you. So that's topic four. Topic five, discuss an accomplishment, event, or realization that caused you to have some personal growth and a new understanding of yourself or others. This could be a time that you got to do some traveling, an internship maybe. It might be a class that you had um, or an Olympiad. Um, there's a lot of different things we could write about here. Okay. Number six. Uh, a topic, idea, or concept you find so engaging, it makes you lose all track of time. Why does it captivate you? And what or who do you turn to when you want to learn more? And then number seven is kind of a free topic. So it's to share an essay on any topic of your choice. It can be one you've already written, one that responds to a different prompt, or one of your own design. So these are the seven major prompts and really the six major prompts. This seven one is kind of just like a free for all. I don't really recommend we go this route at least right away, okay? So, um, yep, there's the, there's the link again. Thank you, Miras, thank you for that. And so the homework, again, let me just uh, take us back here. It's gonna be these, this slide here, these five questions, okay? And you can write as much or as little about this as you want, okay? But I think the more you think about this, the better it will be for your essay. Then we've got these two charts of values here, and we want to choose your top 10 values, your top five, your top three, and your top one. You don't have to write anything more than the, the words, okay? And once you've done those things, you've done basically the homework. However, if you want more, if you were interested in these prompts and you're looking for more work, there's a link here at the last page of the presentation and it goes to the College Essay Guys blog. He's got 12 essays that worked. They're short essays and you could read through, it's up to you, but you could read through the first eight if you want to, okay? Um, and these are essays that answer these questions. So you could look at that and then decide which prompt do you think would help tell your best story, okay? Um, don't worry about a word limit for right now. I'm not concerned about that yet, BS. Oh, it's a good question. though. So any questions for me? It's one o'clock now, so it's time to go. But are there any questions for me? We good? All right. Roshan, do you have anything you would like to add or say? Oh. Let me see. Roshan, you might be muted. You might have to unmute yourself. Yeah, I can't. Oh, you can hear her? Okay, I can't hear her. Uh, that's okay. If you can hear her, that's fine. Okay. Yeah. I can't hear you guys. That's true.
I can't hear any audio. So, oh, for report, for report, got it. Okay, I can do pictures. I think I can, let me see. All right, good, I got some pictures. Um, guys, I'll make sure I will send the uh, the slides that we need um, to Roshan so she's got them, but it's also all on our website. I'm glad you guys can hear me. I'm sorry I can't hear you. I don't know what's going on with that. Um, sorry. Let's try this. There. Maybe that helps. Okay. Any questions? I can't really hear, so just tell me in chat. Okay. Great, guys. See you tomorrow, same time. We're going to work on the do's and don'ts of lesson planning, okay? Bye, everybody. Great time. It was really nice to meet you.